Hot on the heels of his success with the Jacksons, Michael Jackson was ready to debut his first solo outing as an adult entertainer in the summer of 1979. Taking his career trajectory to stratospheric heights, that album, of course, became off the wall. The album's title was conceived by none other than Rod Temperton, who penned the title track. For the album cover, Michael initially went to photographer Jim McCrary. The idea was to capture the excitement and energy of a rising superstar. None of the photos taken that day were considered, however, as Michael didn't quite like the way they came out. In the end, Michael Jackson turned to famed photographer Mike Salisbury for inspiration. The two got together for a photo session and the rest was history. The album was released on August 10, 1979, and the cover art adorning its frontispiece reflected both the youthfulness and maturity of a then 21-year-old Michael Jackson. Mike Salisbury explained, the look Michael and he created together at the time was a graphic metaphor of his coming of age, the moment he stepped out as a man on his own. The tuxedo, socks, and gloves would all become his trademarks throughout his career. Before this album, even when he tried to make his breakthrough with The Wiz, Michael was thought of as the kid from the Jackson 5. The breezy look with a tuxedo and white dress shirt made him look like Sinatra walking into the spotlight to the applause of a sold-out Vegas performance. The look was not just a design, it was the beginning of the Michael Jackson branding. Several of the original shots were not supporting the metaphorical symbolism of the tuxedo and the young kid with the big talent. So, in an urban alley against an old wall of real brick, Michael was directed to be more animated in his pose. The white glow was added to the socks for emphasis before the album cover was printed. Those, along with the black tuxedo pant cuffs and the black penny loafers, are the most iconic parts of the brand image, even when reduced to CD size, they would remain the most noticeable visual. This album is significant in Jackson's career for being the first time he took the reins of his career. It is seen as his most cohesive album and showcases the king of pop before all the controversy and fame woes he would experience in his later career. Overall, this cover can be remembered for reintroducing the adult solo artist and being released at the end of the disco era where one could just dance, relax, and even live off the wall.